Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn what to do if your Google Shopping campaign isn't getting any impressions or clicks. You've spent all this time getting your Google Shopping campaign set up and you're seeing this. Zero clicks, zero impressions. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do when this happens so you can get your shopping campaigns working again, generating sales and generating profits for your e-commerce store. Let's get into it. Okay, so your campaign has no impressions and therefore no clicks. Here's what we'll look at fixing in order. First, how long has it been since you published your campaign? Make sure it's at least 24 hours. It takes time after you launch your campaign for Google to index your feed and to start showing it to people. If you want to speed things up, you can try increasing your bids to $1.50 to $3 per click. You will spend a bit more money than you need to, but it will speed things up. After two to three days, check to see if you're at least getting impressions. If still no impressions after the next three days, proceed to the next fixes. Next, let's double check that your campaign is live. You can check if this little icon here is green, or if you want to be extra sure, you can click this cog icon. Here, you can view the campaign settings and look to see if the campaign status is enabled. Additionally, you can look into the ad groups to also see if the ad groups are enabled. The next thing we wanna check if there are any issues with your billing or your account status. You would see a big red banner at the top of your Google Ads account if there is an issue. It should include a link to a guide that shows you how to fix the issue. The most frequent reason we see for issues in the account like this is if your credit card has insufficient funds. Google immediately halts your account activity when this happens. I strongly recommend setting up a secondary credit card in your account to prevent this from happening in the future. Next, make sure that your Google Merchant Center Next account is connected to your Google Ads account. If you've been through our free Google Shopping course, you should have done this anyway, but it's worth a look here. I'll show you how to check this right now. Starting in your Google Ads dashboard, go to Tools and then to Data Manager. And here you should see the connected products. Your Google Merchant Center account should be listed here and showing as linked. Even if it is, click it and see if the Merchant Center account ID shown here matches the same ID of your Merchant Center account. If you see any problems here, go set up the link again. We have a clear and simple walkthrough on how to link your Google Merchant Center Next account to your Google Ads account. I'll leave a link to that tutorial down below. The next thing we wanna check that there are no issues in our Google Merchant Center Next account. Open up your account and look for any issues that present at the top of the dashboard. It should look something like this. You'll have to go and fix these issues before you can get your shopping campaigns running. If there's a Google Merchant Center suspension, we have some videos on how to fix this. I'll leave a link down below. We actually also do this for our clients with a full guarantee. You can get in touch with us on our website. Also, check if you have any product disapprovals. You'll find these under the products, needs attention tab, and then scrolling down. If a product is disapproved, it won't show in your Google Shopping campaign. So if all your products are disapproved, you won't get any impressions. This is because no products are eligible to show. Go through and fix all of these product disapprovals. We have a full video on how to do this. I'll leave a link to that down below. The next thing that you need to check are your Google Shopping campaign settings. You'll have set these up when you created your campaign, but if you didn't do it properly, it could cause your shopping campaign to not show. A common example is your location targeting. If you set your targeting to a tiny town in the middle of nowhere, then there's a clear reason why you won't get any impressions. There's just not many people there searching. Now go through and check these campaign settings and do it while you go through our campaign setup video. We have a full video on how to set up your Google Shopping campaigns, all the campaign settings. I'll leave a link to that down below. The next thing to check is your bidding. If you set your manual bids way too low, then you won't get an ad rank high enough to show or get any impressions. Usually I set my bid for new campaigns at about $1. Or if you're using an automated bidding strategy like Target ROAS, your goal may be a bit too ambitious for the algorithm. It wants to hit your goal, but without history in the account, Google doesn't know how to hit it. I recommend reducing your Target ROAS to be a bit more reasonable or switch to a manual bidding strategy. If you increase your bids with manual bidding, it's gonna tell Google to be a bit more aggressive with showing your products. This is gonna show your ads for higher positions and result in more clicks. Yes, it means paying more for these clicks at the start, but you'll get data from this and ideally conversions, which is gonna feed the algorithm, which is gonna be better for you in the long run. Next, make sure that you don't have any unnecessary negative keywords. You use negative keywords to tell Google not to show your ads for certain search queries. Now, where this can go wrong is that you may add a negative keyword accidentally that actually stops you from getting relevant traffic. This can restrict your campaigns and stop you from getting impressions or enough clicks. At the start, I don't recommend adding many negative keywords. 
Just let Google show your products on its network and get some initial data. This, of course, is only if you've already optimized your product feed, which you should have already done. If not, check out our full tutorial on how to optimize your product data and your product feed. I'll leave a link to that down below. If you do have negative keywords at the campaign level, they could be stopping you from getting impressions. I suggest removing them and seeing if that improves the impressions. Next, we want to remove any bidding adjustments. Bidding adjustments are edits that you make to your bids based on things like time of day, location, and demographic information. Now, we have a full video on how to use these for a Google Shopping campaign to optimize and get more profits, but when you're starting your campaign, I don't recommend you use them. It's too early to optimize and restrict the potential clicks, so take them off. You'll find these under Audiences, Keywords, and Content section on the left-hand menu. Make sure you don't have anything in these settings to avoid any restrictions. Lastly, if you're still not getting any impressions after a week, I recommend starting a new campaign from scratch. There may be some sort of adjustment or setting that is restricting your campaigns and it might just be better to just start from scratch and follow our tutorial on setting up your shopping campaign settings. Now, I'll leave a link to that down below. Go and check it out. Follow it as you create your new campaign. Okay, that's everything to check if you're not getting impressions. What if you're getting impressions, but you're just not getting clicks? The fact that you're getting impressions shows that your product feed is working and it is connected into Google Ads, but it just means that you're not showing enough to get enough clicks. Basically, you just need to make sure that nothing is restricting your ads for showing for their full potential and make sure that you're bidding high enough to get a high enough ad rank to get enough clicks. Just like with impressions, it takes time for Google to figure out what your products are and who to show them to in order to build up the amount of clicks. At the same time, we can encourage the algorithm by increasing our bids, which is going to increase our ad rank, show for higher up on the Google Shopping page, and get more clicks. For now, just keep in mind that if you have a low number of impressions, that's okay, just keep building them up. You can't expect to have a high number of clicks if you still have a low number of impressions. So, focus on the impressions first, and then the clicks. Next thing we want to do is make sure that our product data and our product feed is optimized. Optimizing your product data in your product feed in Google Merchant Center Next is one of the most important things for optimizing and scaling your Google Shopping campaigns. It's also one of the most forgotten. If you don't optimize your product data, then it's a lot harder for Google to know what you're actually selling and to show it to the right people. This means it's going to take a lot longer for Google to build up the data, the clicks, the impressions, and to know who else to show your products to. If your product data and your product feed isn't optimized or you don't know if it is or not, go and check out our full tutorial on how to optimize your product feed and your product data in your Google Merchant Center account. I'll leave a link to that tutorial down below. The next thing that drives clicks to your campaign is your ad rank. There's a lot to go into here, but the best thing you can do is watch our video on how Google Shopping works. It goes deep into the algorithm and ad ranking and why bids drive impressions and clicks for your campaign. Go into your campaign settings right now and check what bidding strategy you've selected. If you select anything except for manual CPC, it is going to take longer for you to get impressions and clicks when you start your campaign. This is because the other strategies are automated strategies, meaning Google will use its data to plan who to show your ads to. If it's a new campaign with zero clicks, Google doesn't really know who to show your products to. So it's going to start showing products to a more general group of people that may be less interested in your products. Do yourself a favor, start with manual bidding, get to 50 to 100 conversions per month, and then consider swapping over to a target ROAS bidding strategy. Once you've confirmed that you're using a manual bidding strategy, then check if you're bidding high enough. Just like with getting impressions, I'll set my bids for around $1, maybe up to $2 depending on the industry. I'll then let it run for a few days and see how many impressions and clicks I get. If I'm still not getting clicks after three to seven days, I'll then increase my bids further. You're basically giving a kick to Google to show your products to more people, getting you more clicks and more data. Keep in mind that you can always reduce your bids later once you're getting more clicks and more sales. Next, I want to talk about audience targeting. This is a rare mistake, but it can happen. In your campaign dashboard under audiences, keywords, and content, go to your audience section and look at your audiences. You'll see here under targeting settings, it should be set to observation. If it's set to targeting, then you'll need to click edit audience segments and change it from targeting to observation. Targeting is where you tell Google to only show for this audience. This might be a useful setting when you're remarketing to a specific list or you just want to target a specific demographic. For new campaigns and for most e-commerce stores, you don't want to do this on your first campaign. 
you want your campaign to have the freedom to show for everybody as long as you've optimized your product data and your product feed. So make sure there's nothing in this section that could severely limit your campaign and the clicks you're going to get. That's it guys, that's what we do when we're not getting impressions or clicks on our Google Shopping campaigns. Now, if you're getting clicks but you're not getting enough sales, go and check out our other video on what to do if you're not getting sales in your Google Shopping campaign. Also, this video here is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. It's a free course that takes you through everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month. It's completely free, it's on our website, I'll leave a link down below. And if you're currently generating over 20K per month in sales for your e-commerce store and you want help scaling to seven figures and beyond, my team and I can help. We scale e-commerce stores with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimization. I'll leave a link to our calendar down below. You can book a time and we'll talk through how we'll do this for your store. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course and I'll see you there.